to me I've been doing it for years and it's like a way of showcasing to everyone what we can do with the trash we so carelessly discard and I really think it's just like us making a statement and showing that we care about the environment and you should too because we're just teenagers but we're trying to like make a change in the world. Why not mix creativity with um, advocacy? And that was why we, we, we actually went out with this. So the students are the ones, they, together we went out, we picked up the plastic, we cleaned the environment. But rather than just taking everything maybe to a dumping site or so, we felt we get creative with it. So we decided to spruce things up and start the fashion show, the fashion show. the generation who are going to be like leading in a few years and like the older people at the end of the day they will end up leaving this earth and we'll be the ones left with it so we need to start now because in a few years it's going to be too late to do anything. We call it global climate change, and it is, but it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm, climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth, almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love. <laughs>